Hey, Cincy here, and welcome to the Nerd Bar, and this is part one of my toy haul from my trip to Dallas, Texas. Let's do this. All right, so welcome to the Nerd Bar, and uh, here we are. Finally, I'm able to do this toy haul. I've been waiting to open this stuff for like a week now, but uh, I have broken this toy haul into two parts because to be honest with you, I just got a lot of stuff down in Dallas. I went severely, severely over budget, more than doubled what I was <laughs> planning on spending in Dallas, but I got a ton, a ton of great stuff. So let's get started. Uh, the first video will center around modern stuff. The second video will center around vintage stuff that I got, as well as some Masters of the Universe classics. I've got a bunch of Masters classic stuff, so decided to put that in a separate video with the vintage stuff, but this is all the modern stuff that I got, as well as a comic book haul, bam. So just like most of my other haul videos, we're gonna get started with the comic books, because this is what gets us here. This is what turns us into collectors of action figures and toys, It's the comic books. Amazing Spider-Man number seven. I am not caught up on this, but uh, if you've watched my recent videos, you'll know that uh, Amazing Spider-Man is roomies with Boomerang there. So interesting dynamic there. I'm not caught up. I'm like four or five issues back. Avengers 9 with Namor. Another comic that I'm not caught up on. Daredevil it's number 609. This is part one of... This new story arc, The Death of Daredevil, and this artwork is freaking beautiful. It's Phil Noto, who's one of my favorite artists. Immortal Hulk number seven, this is one of my favorite comic books that Marvel's doing right now. Just such an awesome back to basics take on Hulk. I love it. I got Old Man Logan. I think that might be Old Man Sabretooth. I'm not 100% sure. I think that might be what's going on here. But there's Old Man Logan. The Sentry, another one of my favorite series that Marvel's doing right now. An amazing, amazing mini series. I think this goes one more issue. I think it's a six issue series, but The Sentry is fantastic. Former Avenger, former Dark Avenger, Basket Case, The Sentry, check it out. Star Wars number 55, Vader, looking good. Thor number six, Jason Aaron, can't go wrong. Pretty much anything Jason Aaron writes, I'm going to buy because he's a fantastic writer. Tony Stank, Iron Man number four, making out with Janet Van Dyne. Is that uh, Janet Van Dyne? Yes, Janet Van Dyne. Or is it Hope? I get mixed up because in the movies, it's Hope. Evangeline Lilly's Hope. Janet's Michelle Pfeiffer's. And uh, yeah, the Stank is getting it on with the Wasp. <laughs> I got Venom number seven, Donny Cates, excellent, excellent series. Ryan Stegman, beautiful artwork. Here's some DC stuff, Batman 57, Tom King. Tom King is the Jason Aaron of DC for me. Anything Tom King writes, I'm reading. I like Tom King more than Scott Snyder. I know people are not gonna like that I just said that, but I like Tom King's writing more than Scott Snyder. Scott Snyder's writing is awesome. Awesome, I just like Tom King more. So they're both great writers. Tom King, Batman, can't go wrong. Speaking of Scott Snyder, Justice League number 10 by Scott Snyder. By the aforementioned Scott Snyder, Justice League Odyssey, gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. This is a foil cover, this is number two. I have not read issue one yet. If you read Justice League Odyssey, if you're a comic book collector like me, and you like Justice League Odyssey number one or number two, leave it in the comments, let me know what you think. Nightwing. Can I say that I'm interested in this guy right now because something happened to him in Batman recently. Something major happened to him. No spoilers. I guess I can wait maybe another month before I give you the spoilers. Something major happened to him. I wanna know what happens next. So I got Nightwing number 50 and I got Nightwing number 51. There you go. There's a lot of stuff going on with the Robins right now. With Nightwing, with this guy. This guy had a major, major falling out with the Batmans, with the Bruce Waynes, and uh, this is Red Hood Outlaw number 26. He is uh, looking different now. Rocking the crowbar 
that's irony right there for those that know the backstory of Jason Todd. A lot of uh, stuff going on with the Robins right now, but hey, there are the comics. Hopefully you liked my comic book selection. Hopefully I encouraged you to maybe go out to your comic book store, check out one of these titles, see what it's all about. Comic books are life. I should hashtag that because they are. They're freaking amazing. So let's get to the toy haul. I'm going to do an inbox. Hey, here's what I got. Some of the stuff that's in the box, I'm going to take out of the box, do a little showcase for you. But let's do it. All right, here we go. This is the uh, this is the haul, ladies and gentlemen. Part one of the haul, because I got a lot of stuff. I got so much stuff it won't even fit on my bar. I have to do it in two parts, but this is my thumbnail. Holy ass, there's a lot of G.I. Joes, but let's get into that. Let's get into that, shall we? This is a Mezco figure. I got this one, and uh, it's Wonder Woman, and she is freaking awesome. I have her Hot Toys, I have her SH Figure Arts, I have her Mafex, and now I have a McDonald's cup in the background that I forgot to take out of the shot. But now I have the Mezco. She looks phenomenal. Can't wait to take her out of the package. Show you what she looks like out of the package, but I got Mezco, Wonder Woman. I still need the Mezco Aquaman too. Pretty much any of the Mezco Justice League figures I'm gonna be picking up, so there's number one. Finally got this guy. This is SH Figure Arts Han Solo. I needed him. I have the Luke from A New Hope. I have the Obi-Wan from A New Hope. And uh, I got this one at uh, Dallas Vintage Toys, and I was actually going to get this one, if you watched my last video, I was going to get this one and a Stormtrooper, and I was, I had to pick one because I was so ridiculously over budget, and once you see all the stuff I got, you'll understand. So I picked Han Solo because I needed him in the collection, he's awesome. I'm going to take him out of package in the next clip, but uh, I got SHF, there's the package, there's Han Solo. Scruffy looking nerf herder right there, Han Solo SHF. I got this one. This one's been on my want list for a while now. And this is the Avengers Infinity War Mark, what is it, 50? I think it's a Mark 50 Iron Man. But they're actually doing a second version of this one. If you missed out on this one, this one's actually going for a little bit more dollars on the secondary market. Uh, at least it is on Amazon. I got this one actually for a ridiculously good price. I got this for 60 bucks. 60 bucks at the con. Got this at uh, Dallas Comic Con, AKA Dallas Fan Days. Just an insane deal, insane deal. And uh, I didn't catch the name of uh, the vendor that I bought this from, but if you happen to be watching this video, thank you very much for an awesome, awesome deal on this figure. But again, they're doing a second version of this with like the blades, the shield, the little foot things. But uh, I like this version. This is a really, really cool version with that um, like plasma looking thing on his arm. Um, just really cool. I like this one. So there is the Iron Man Mark 50 SHF. This is coming out of package. I cannot wait to take this one out of package. And now it's time for this beautiful, awesome, lovely time, 25th anniversary G.I. Joe haul. So here's what I wanted to do. When I first got to Dallas Comic Con, I was kind of thinking of what I wanted to buy. And I wanted to buy the 13 original G.I. Joe members. And for those that don't know, these are all the guys that are kind of in the green outfits. They were led by Hawk, not Duke. These are the 13 original Joes that were, they started in the Marvel comic books. Let's get into these. So I got Flash, Stalker, Breaker, and these are all 25th anniversary figures. Clutch, Zap. Now you'll notice that some of these are not fully accessorized. So basically, here's the story behind that. I found a vendor, and you probably saw it in the actual hunt video. I found a vendor at the show that had bought recently a gigantic G.I. Joe collection. And he didn't know much about G.I. Joe, so really he was putting together all these figures and their accessories based on pictures he was finding on eBay and the internet. So I did not take the time to actually look through each of the Joes that I bought, and I did not notice that some of these do not have their actual correct accessories. So Zap right here came with this rocket launcher, AKA or bazooka, whatever the heck that thing is, and helmet. And I don't even think that helmet is a G.I. Joe helmet. And that's not a G.I. Joe, I don't think that's a G.I. Joe rocket launcher. So 
he is missing his actual accessories. So I'm going back to Dallas in May to hopefully find that vendor because I think he's doing that show in Dallas again to uh, pick up the accessories that go with these guys. So yeah, Zap's missing his actual helmet and his rocket launcher, but there are those five. And then I got Short Fuse, I got Rock and Roll, I got Hawk, and uh, if you watched the previous video, you probably saw that Craig and I were actually trying to find all of his accessories. I never did find his stand, so he's missing a stand, but he's complete otherwise. But there's the leader of the original 13 Joes, Hawk. There's Steeler, driver of the Mobat tank, which I would love to have in my collection. There's the original Snake Eyes, Commando Snake Eyes, not Ninja Snake Eyes. So there are uh, 10 out of the original 13. And then I also picked up 25th Anniversary Chuckles, Outback, Rakondo, Dusty. And Dusty's missing his goggles. He came with this set of goggles. Those are not correct. The goggles that he actually wears are round, and those are square or rectangular. So those don't actually fit on his helmet. And then Ripcord. I got Ripcord. He has the wrong helmet. So you'll see that black helmet there. That is not his. I'm not sure which figure that actually belongs to, but um, it doesn't fit on his head, uh, so his mask doesn't fit either. So I need to get his helmet. So I think I did a pretty good job because a lot of these figures go for a lot more than what I paid for them. I'll tell you right now, I paid $4 each for these figures. I got a hell of a deal on them. Uh, especially these guys here because these were part of a Attack on Cobra Island set. Yeah, I paid 4 bucks each on these. So I got a great, great deal. I just need to uh, find some of those missing accessories right there. So there you go. There's the Joes. Hopefully I didn't go too fast, and hopefully you saw the ones that I got, but they are awesome. I love 25th Joes. So here is the original reason that I actually decided to go down to Dallas. Um, as soon as I saw that the Dragon Ball Tour was making a stop at Dallas Fan Days, I uh, contacted Craig, contacted Rube, let them know, hey, you know what, I'm thinking about coming down. Got a cheap deal on the airline tickets, and decided, you know what, let's make a trip out of it. So... Decided to go down, spend the weekend down there, pick up these Dragon Ball Tour exclusives. I know I did not get Vegito. I know I did not get the Ultra Instinct uh, effect. I'm kind of regretting not getting Vegito right now, but I'm. these were the two that I really, really wanted the most. So I got Broly. This is the Dragon Ball Tour Broly. He looks freaking gigantic. Look at how big he is. Holy freaking crap, he's big. But uh, he looks awesome, comes with a couple different face sculpts. Uh, so I got Broly and I got Perfect Cell and this is the Tor exclusive Perfect Cell with those colors. They've made Cell a couple times. Uh, a lighter green paint was used but I really really like like the metallic looking paint on his armor and that shade of olive green. Looks really really cool. But there's Broly, there's Perfect Cell, Dragon Ball Tor exclusives. Really really happy to get those. Uh, and then I also got this one here and I got this one at Think Geek. Really, really happy to pick this one up. I've wanted this one for a long time. This is Nappa. And um, he looks awesome. I do already have the Scouter Vegeta, so they will look awesome on my SH Figure Arts shelf. But I've, yeah, I've wanted this one for a while now. He looks very, very cool. But there's Nappa. I'm going to go ahead and take him out of package too. So you'll see Nappa. You're going to see Wonder Woman. You're going to see Han Solo. You're going to see... The uh, Mark 50 Iron Man. Let me show you the back of these packages before I get to the uh, unboxing. So here is the packaging on Broly. In case you haven't ever seen it. It's Event Exclusive Color Edition. Look at how big that dude is. Good lord. He's freaking awesome. So there is the uh, packaging on Broly. And I'll show you the packaging on Perfect Cell as well. So there's the side art. There is the back of the package, and you can kind of see the metallic paint on the armor there. But he's looking really freaking awesome, and look at that. Very, very cool. So there you go, guys. There is uh, the stuff that I bought. This is, again, part one. You're going to see all of my vintage stuff and Masters Classics in the next video. But it's time for the showcase. Oh, I almost forgot these. So i got to give a shout-out to my buddy, Craig 
for just giving me this game. He had two of these uh, games. It's the Batman Telltale series for PS4. I'm a new PS4 owner, so I don't have a whole lot of games. And Craig just took me up. He just gave this to me. So, Craig, you're the man, dude. But this is a very, very nice gift. And uh, I picked this one up, too. Um, I didn't get this in uh, Dallas. I actually got this um, on the way back. I stopped at the store on the way back from the airport and picked up Ant-Man and the Wasp. So there you go, got the Blu-ray. All right, it's showcase time. Let's get these things out of package and see what they look like. All right, here we go. I got some stuff unboxed here. Let's show you what it looks like out of package. So first things first, here is the Mezco Wonder Woman. I do like this figure a lot. It does, at least mine does, have slightly loose ankles. So be aware of that. I'm not sure if that's a thing with this figure or if it's just uh, your mileage may vary, but she looks very, very cool. There's a close-up of the material for the armor. There is no ab crunch because of the armor piece there. The uh, little skirt piece is made of uh, a fabric of some kind. It is soft goods there. There's the shield, a little close-up of the shield. And there is the face sculpt. And she does come with an alternate face sculpt, this one right here. Uh, additional accessories, some additional hands, and then this wire lasso. But there is the sword. And just a quick comparison, here is SH Figuarts Wonder Woman next to Mezco Wonder Woman. Both very, very good figures. I like them both a lot. But there you go. I think the SH Figure Arts looks more like Gal Gadot, but uh, I do like this figure. There's something about it. I just really like this figure. Definitely want to get the Aquaman from Justice League as well. So there's that one. Here is Han Solo. Not the absolute best face sculpt in my personal opinion, but I can see the Harrison Ford resemblance in that face. But just to give you a little close-up of that face uh, what's cool about this one is the fact that he actually comes with two holsters so this gun is not meant to go into a holster they give you this holster right here which basically is kind of closed off you cannot put a gun in there and they also give you this one right here with a gun a blaster already in it so you just pop it out pop it in depending on whether you want him holding a blaster or not pretty cool uh, there I don't think I've ever seen that before, but I do like that. But here is Han Solo. Comes with some additional hands, some of the uh, pilot gloved hands, some more of the uh, ungloved hands. But here's a little close up of SH Figure Arts, A New Hope Han Solo. And just for comparison's sake, I'm going to bring in this guy right here, Obi Wan Kenobi. From a new hope i'm going to bring in this guy right here there's luke and there they are there's the three that i have from a new hope there's luke han and old ben pretty cool moving on here is the mark 50 iron man out of package he is very very cool because you can put on some different uh, arm accessories you basically pop off the forearm and as you can see there is the forearm that came packaged with the figure just uh, pop it right off and then you can pop on this right here and I don't know if you could see it but he actually has a little fisted hand in there so pretty cool that they uh, allow you to put the uh, the hand in there even though you can't really see it it's just a it's cool to know that he has like a fisted up hand in there. And then uh, it comes with these effects here. If you want to use that repulsor hand. Love the way this armor looks. Very, very shiny. Very nice. He does have die cast feet for additional balance. Uh, this version comes with, this is the uh, American version, comes with this stand. I think the Japanese overseas version does not come with the stand. So this one does come with the stand, and the stand actually comes apart. You can see it's got some size to it. You could put uh, accessories that you're not using inside there. Pretty cool. 
He also comes with uh, this additional forearm, which has that little uh, repulsor blaster cannon thing. I don't have that in there right now, but I just wanted to show you some additional stuff it comes with, some effects. I have a little foot repulsors in there as well, because I have him doing a little flight pose right now. But let me show you how he looks with some additional figures from Infinity War. So there is the Thanos, and here is good old Steve. So there's how he looks. I know it's kind of hard to tell based on the pose that I have him in with that flight stand and whatnot to see the size difference, but I think you can kind of get a good idea of how he looks. Definitely want to get the uh, Black Widow figure. Um, definitely the Iron Spidey as well, but I'm really digging the Avengers Infinity War SH Figure Arts figures. Very, very cool. But there's the Mark 50. And last but not least, I unboxed the Nappa. He is pretty freaking awesome. He has some size. So I changed the hands and the head up. The packaged version has... Uh, a head without the little scouter there, but I like the look of the scouter, so I put that head on. Here's the other heads, by the way. Kind of a maniacal look there. Another maniacal look. And then maniacal number three. <laughs> and then he comes with some additional hands. The fisted hands are the ones that he comes packaged with, but I put in this hand right here and this hand right here. So pretty cool. I have not assembled the little uh, stand for his uh, effect. I still have to do that. And to show you size comparison there, he is with Vegeta with the Scouter. I think they look pretty freaking amazing. SH Figure Arts Napa. I got him at Think Geek in Dallas. Thank you, Craig, for the little discount that you were able to float me. That was awesome was able to get this one, which I've wanted for so long. But man, they look freaking awesome together. But there you go. I still have not taken these out. Once I do take these out of package, I will definitely share that on a video. But for now, I decided just to keep them in package because they look beautiful in package. But there you go. There is uh, some SH Figure Arts um, 25th G.I. Joe. I'm really, really happy with this haul here even though some of the figures are missing their accessories. Really, really happy with that haul. And then more SH Figure Arts, Avengers, Star Wars, and a Mezco. There you go. All right, so thank you for joining me. This is part one of my Texas toy haul. I got a ton of stuff. I'm gonna have a lot of fun putting this on the shelf. But uh, there you go again. I'm going to get ready for part two, show you all my vintage stuff. I'm really, really excited to show you that stuff. Really excited to show you the Masters Classic stuff that I got as well. But that's it for now. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. If you like this video, please do give a thumbs up. I absolutely appreciate that. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite item was that I picked up here. But uh, I will see you guys in the next video. I can't wait to show you the vintage stuff and audios for now.